Hi, you soldiers. I am somewhere different today because today I want to do a very special video on the shelf you see behind you. But this is not any shelf. No, no. This is not any normal shelf. This is my TBR pile. Yes, you heard me correctly. The entire shelf. Not just like the shelf, like the entire bookcase. We can't even see it all. Look. And it goes, and it keeps going. It keeps going behind that giant pile of garbage. Yes, I'm wearing an amazing shirt! <laughs> so I thought today's video we would just get right into it and see what I haven't read yet. Also, to be completely honest, if you have watched any of my book hauls for the last, I'd say, like, year, uh, you're probably gonna see some repeats on that list still on this freaking shelf. Alright, here it goes. Fine, there. Ooh, I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> Oh yes, you can see, this is what I wear when I'm filming. Sweatpants? Mm, yes, it's the new height of fashion. Also, I'd like to point out that you see these shelves, you think that you think that they're one way. Oh no, that's a lie. There's also books behind those books. So this top shelf right here is mostly, uh, oddly enough, the young adult stuff. I don't really know why I classified it that way. I just have. This is like my mostly advanced copies that I received shelf. Then we have this shelf right here, which is the, like, I bought them and I want to read them right away-ish kind of shelf. And then all the way at the bottom over here is just, like, a, a random shelf full of stuff. And yes, this is also, I don't know if you can see, this is also double stacked. This is also double stacked. And that just has, like, some random stuff on it. It's also near my garbage, so please excuse the giant bag of bags. And you thought that was everything. You're wrong once again. I also have this other pile of books here that I didn't have anywhere to put because it's too full. So this is my like overflow pile that just sits on my floor over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see if I can pull some of these down so I can show you guys what I actually have. Three ones that I just got lately, they're actually like some childhood books that I ordered off of thrift books. Uh, I got Sundancer by Shelley Peterson and I got Moon Silver, which is like this amazing like Unicorn book. Don't judge. I love unicorns. And Into the Land of Unicorns, which is by Bruce Covell. Oh, and Unicorn Secret is by Kathleen Dewey. I just, I love these as a kid, and I totally forgot they existed until I found them by accident, so I bought them again. This is actually going to take me forever if I go through every single one, so I'm just going to pull out some, like, you know, notable ones, put it that way, while also, like, climbing all over my furniture. So here, my friends, is my, uh, my advanced copy shelf. Now, unfortunately, these are all the ones that still haven't come out, and all the ones behind here are ones that actually have already come out, and I just didn't get to them in time. Most notable of the ones I didn't get to in time is The Rift, uh, Uprising by Amy Foster, and Replica by Lauren Oliver, which I really wanted to read, I totally forgot about that. It's good. Good thing I found that. The advanced copies that I'm really excited for, uh, that I have not read yet, uh, one of them is The Pants Project by Kat Clark, which is a really awesome middle grade, um, about a queer tween, which is cool, and The Hate You Give, which I have heard amazing things about from my word nerds by Andy Thomas. Also, for freaking June, I still haven't read any of the uh, Thorn Jack series that I bought for myself for my birthday. It's cool, I'll get to it eventually. Uh, some sequels that I have not read yet, like Glass Sword, King's Cage comes out in how long? I don't know, but I haven't got to that yet. Also, Layer of Dreams, you can see that I have obviously prepared this video by the amount of books that are falling down. Oh, what? Darn it! Oh, I was gonna read Let It Snow over the holidays. Aww. Next, next Christmas. And the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy, because I actually have never read my way through the entire thing, so I bought all of them. Have I read them yet? Nope. Hey, I still have the Bone Season from that thrift haul, like, forever ago. More happy than not by Adam Silvera. Fantastic concept. Apparently, it's really great. I bought it because it was great. I haven't read it yet. Liza Locke Lamora, which is people are telling me is like the greatest thing in the world that I need to read it, so I will very soon. Oh, hey there, friends. That's better. And this shelf down here is more just like other miscellaneous stuff. Um, so I still have, oops, I still have like Sabriel and the Graveyard Book, which I meant to read forever. Still haven't read To All the Boys I Loved Before. How is this possible? I've had this forever. Actually, a book that I'm going to haul in my January book haul that I'm really, really excited about is Made You Up um, by, who is this by? Francesca Zappia, and it's about a girl with schizophrenia, so I thought that was a really, really neat idea, and the cover's really gorgeous. I literally have books from last Christmas that I haven't read yet. The Queen's Choice by Kayla Clover, No I Have Read the History of Glitter and Blood, which I called my last Christmas book haul. Just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cousins that bought them for me. Oh my god, 
Wow, it's a good thing I went through all this. I totally forgot I had these. So much Rick Riordan. I also have all these, but I never actually started them yet because I want to get the whole series before I do. And that's the, the Girl Who Circumvented Fairyland series. Um, I have the other two in hardcover and then this one in soft cover and it makes me sad. Second last shelf. There's more shelves! You always think that you're at the end and then there's more. Also still haven't Anna, read Anna and the French Kiss. I... I know. You can just... Next time you see me in public, you can just admonish me loudly. The hardcover of Hollow City, which I have read, but I don't own, so whenever I get a book that I've read but haven't, don't own, I read it again, and I haven't gotten along to reading it again. I also have the rest of the series for um, Rachel Vincent's Soul Screamers that I wanted to finish, so I bought all of them. Again, off Thrift Books. Thank you, Thrift Books. This is not sponsored, though I wish it was. Um, and then I just didn't get around to them. Again, I have to read all the first three, and that's gonna take forever. Oh yeah, and then I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child that I actually worked the midnight release for, and this is also our Word Nerd Book Club of the Month. And then some Colleen Hoover books, which I haven't gotten into Colleen Hoover yet. Still haven't read The Copper Gauntlet by uh, Cassandra Clare and Holly Black, even though I went to the signing for it. And there's a whole video on that that you can watch if you want. And I think the last two of note uh, that I have, I have an anthology that is Monstrous Affections by Link and Grant. Uh, that I totally forgot actually, oops, existed. And then I also got a writing sci-fi and fantasy book um, by Card, Athens, and Lake. It is just like how to write fantasy creatures and worlds that I probably should have read by now. You know what, I'm gonna say this is actually probably the oldest book on my TBR shelf. I know that I bought this when I was working at my old bookstore, which was like two and a half years ago. I'm so sorry, I'm sure you're a good book. And then I remember that giant pile that I had on the floor yeah, let's uh, let's go through that, shall we? I think the two that I'm most ashamed about um, are books that came out that I was so excited for, and then I just haven't read them yet. Uh, for example, Gemina from Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, which, dude, illuminate, hot damn. And then I bought the second one, heard fantastic things about it, never read it. This isn't as bad. This only came out like a couple months ago. And then the one that's like, oh my god, it's I'm ashamed because. My Shadowhunter roots are just so angry at me right now for not reading the Shadowhunter Academy tales! The Red Lady Midnight and stuff happens in that that happens in this and I need to know what happens in this, but I don't know, maybe I'll leave this one out. I'll like force myself to start reading this one. I don't know if I want to show you these other ones because um, these were part of my Christmas gifts and I'm gonna put these in my January wrap up, uh, so I'm just gonna leave those down here. So there's my ridiculous TBR pile. I could not go through all of them because that would take me like months. I don't think you want to watch that. I'm also holding my camera with one hand right now, so it's a little bit shaky. That's why. Oh no, I can't do the salute. Well, I can do it with one hand, but then like, it sounds good. You're just gonna have like half of a good week. Regardless, I hope you guys like this video. Hope you're having a nice day wherever you are, and I will see you all next week. Bye!